I'm about to show you the easiest way to increase your email conversion rates. And it's by allowing people to buy product directly in your emails without them having to go to your website. You probably didn't even think that was possible, but today it is. You see, most brands assume that they're missing out on revenue because it's because of their email strategy. But sometimes it's just because of friction. Customers have to click on a link on your email, they have to load up the website, they have to add the item to cart, they have to go to checkout, they have to enter their payment information, and then they actually have to place the order, which is a lot of steps in the process. And in fact, about 90% of people who click your emails aren't purchasing. Part of it is because all of that friction. What if I told you in literally minutes you can have people actually buy directly in your emails without having to redesign your whole email funnel and also be able to get surveys from people directly in emails, let customers adjust their subscriptions to your products directly in emails, have customers take quizzes directly in your emails, add animations directly in your emails. The future is now and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do all of that in this video. This is all through a tool called Zamo. It's an interactive email tool that turns your emails into a storefront and I've been loving messing around with this. So let's get into it. Now before we design any interactive emails live, let me show you exactly what Zamo does and why it's actually such a big deal. And I genuinely know that this is going to be the future of email marketing. Basically, Zamo is an interactive email builder that designs with the top apps in Shopify like Klaviyo. And instead of customers having to go all the way to your website to make purchases, adjust their subscription or leave testimonials, Zamo lets customers do it directly from your inbox. And as you're about to see, it makes a big difference in how customers are interacting with your brand. All right, so here's an example of what Zamo's emails can look like. So this is an email. I'm in my email inbox, but look at what I can do. I can literally shop on my products within the email like this. I can do subscriptions, one-time option, and shop all these different items if I wanted to. And right here, all I would do is I would click add to order and boom, that product was automatically already added to my order. And it placed that order because I'm a past customer and so it already has my card information. Pretty crazy. And this is huge for subscription brands because you can have an email with just this widget right here with subscription management. So you can show somebody, hey, this is what's coming in your upcoming order. And you can have people either send now, delay, or whatever you wanna do. This is all within an email. And a big one right here is also collecting reviews. You can send review emails like this. If somebody leaves a five-star review, then you could have this. You can submit your review just like this and right there you've just collected a review without somebody having to go to your website so that dramatically increases how many reviews you get. Then also you can do surveys and quizzes and you can segment people based on their answers. You can send campaigns with these sort of quizzes. Do you work in marketing? Yes, I do. Marketing for an agency. And then boom, you can have all these different quizzes. You can have it be multi-step directly in email and you can just imagine the sort of customization that you could get here. I'm gonna walk you through all of this but you can also just go to zamo.com and you can book a demo with them. When you book a demo, say that Max sent you, you might get an extra bonus. But either way, knowing what Zamo does and the possibilities is just the first step because now we need to actually set it up and start using it. Before you can start actually building your emails, you need to make sure you have Zamo set up and luckily it is very, very easy to set up. If you've ever connected a third party app like Klaviyo to Shopify, it'll feel very, very similar. All you have to do on the website is go to get started for free or book a demo and then it'll take you through the whole process. But I already have an account, so this is all set up. Trust me when I say it's really easy. Now let's actually build some interactive emails. Just like the setup process, super simple because you you don't have to use any code or complicated setup. It's literally just a drag and drop editor right within Zamo and then it connects directly to Klaviyo. All you have to do is pick the kind of email and interaction that you want, customize it however you want, drop it into your email template and import it back into Klaviyo. Let me walk you through a few different options. So to start things off, first we need to start with some sort of template. And this is where you're gonna kind of like create your email. And then what Zamo is going to do is it's going to pull these templates from within Klaviyo. So I'm just gonna go in here. I'm going to go create, I'm gonna do test you YouTube video here, creating a new template just under content in Klaviyo. And then I'm just going to make it super simple. I'm just gonna drag in my logo here. We could just go with something like this and then we can edit the template later, but really we just need this template so that Zamo can see what we're building. So I'm just gonna exit and then it's going to save automatically right here. So all that we have to do is we go back to Zamo, right under email templates right here. This is where we're gonna say import emails from ESP. And then we're gonna see it's gonna pull this Klaviyo template, the test YouTube video, right here and then we can import it and it's gonna load in right into Zamo's drag and drop editor and then right here we have all the different blocks that we can use so there are a couple different things we have interactive we have non-interactive so it's just gonna be text boxes and images and then you have like a universal content library if you want and also something that's really cool is you can do open animations where if somebody opens your email it can show one of these animations like 
this. Right when you open an email, you can get confetti just like this, which is pretty sweet. So if I were to open an email, it's gonna show this confetti. Okay, so I added this confetti open animation and we can add however many more that we want. So if I were to preview this right here, give it a second, it's gonna load a ton of confetti right when somebody opens the email, pretty sweet. But let's go back into our components right here. And this is where we can drag in the Zamo sections. Now Zamo is most applicable to subscription brands. So you can see different subscriptions right here and subscription buttons and we'll walk through that. But we we also have reviews, review collection, and you can have flip to reveal, an image carousel, click to reveal, SMS capture as well, which is huge, and then also any sort of form that you want. So let's say that we're doing a billing reminder subscription email, and we want to give people the option to edit their subscriptions directly within their emails. All that I would do is I would drag this subscription portal right into our template, and then boom, it's going to pull everything in. It's gonna connect directly to your subscription platform that you use, whether it's Skio, Recharge, whatever it is, is, it's gonna be able to pull all this over and you can customize anything that you want. And so if we wanna see what this would look like for a customer, I can click preview right here and it's gonna show the upcoming shipment exactly what it is. And then the customer can receive this email and they can adjust what they want for their order. And they can change what the servings are, what the order schedule do I wanna send now or delay, and then also link back to the portal if they want. And so what I could do is for my billing reminder email, I could use this block right here and allow the customer to do their customization, maybe add some more content back in Clavia, which we're going to do in a second, and maybe add some more social proof down here and then we have a full email pretty sweet and then they have this reactivate block so if somebody has a canceled subscription we can have this send emails reminding people to reactivate their subscription and then down here it's gonna show like when we preview do, 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 do. if somebody canceled then we can have right here and then we can have somebody reactivate their subscription one thing you can also do which I love to do in my subscription emails is you can drag in this product grid which I just did here and if we preview this you can do dynamic Zamo recommended product and so what it's gonna do is it's gonna dynamically recommend products for different customers. Just give it a second to load. Uh, the preview just needs to load. And right here, like this is what it could look like. You can click on different people and it's gonna recommend products specifically for that person and what they might've viewed before. Pretty sweet, customer doesn't need to leave their email, they can just adjust their subscription. And again, give me a second, I'll show you how to upload these back into Clavio. And for our example, we'll do the testimonial one, the review collection, just because I think it's very applicable and every brand can benefit from this. We have this review collection email right here. And again, if we preview this and we want to show what it looks like I'm gonna to move to demo profile this is what it'll look like if somebody places an order you can then send this Zamo template into your flow for a review collection and then when somebody rates something then they can give the review a title submit it and then boom and then they can do whatever sort of stuff that they want so that's what it looks like okay but how do we implement our Zamo emails within Clavio well all you have to do is go to preview slash export say I was happy with this right here then you click export right here and all it's gonna do is it's gonna re-upload this email that we just made with the snippet of Zamo right into a Clavio template. So let's just name it as this Zamo export and then we'll have test test as the preview text right here. I'm going to click export and it's going to go and build that directly into Clavio. And so we can see right here, exported successfully, see within Clavio. And then what we can see is right here, it's right in here. We can go into edit template and you can see it is just a full sort of like code right here. It's some crazy stuff. And so if you want to see what it looks like back in Zamo, then you just go back to Zamo and this is what it will look like. You can test it for yourself. You can send a preview email for yourself and it loads just fine. It just looks crazy because they have to use all this crazy code. And then if I wanted to send this as a campaign, all I would do is I would go to the campaign and I will do test Zamo right here. I can go to single channel. It's an email. Select the list that I want to send it to. I'll just do something random right here. And then I'm just going to click this template right here. Use this template, the Zamo Interactive one that we just made you can see this is what it looks like and boom we are all good to go we just save this enter our subject line of buy our stuff and the preview text is going to be the preview text that we had set when we clicked export right here and then we're able to click send and we'll send this out to anybody that we want so it looks crazy but trust me it works they know what they're doing and it's pretty damn sweet so let's say I wanted to send that email in my post purchase flow maybe 14 days after somebody places an order I can add that email that interactive 
active review request email into a flow. So I'll say I'm building a test Zamo flow right here. I'm gonna create it manually. And then I'm going to say when somebody placed an order, we're going to do this confirm and save. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add a time delay, maybe wait 14 days to request from somebody a review. We're going to go here, we're going to select our template, and we are going to go to the Zamo review request email that we just created. Click save, and then we are going to all be all good to go. We can set this live and it's going to dynamically start collecting reviews into the platform that you're using as long as you integrate it within Zamo. That's how it's done. So back here into Zamo, the possibilities are endless. All you have to do is design your email, create the template into Klaviyo, head back over here to Zamo, and then drag in the section that you want for your email. My favorites are the subscription portal right here for whatever sort of like subscription email you're sending and also any campaigns that you send to subscription folks, you can add in a product block right here to have people add to their order. For subscription brands, this is just amazing. But also there's all sorts of fun stuff that you can do like this flip to reveal right here where you can set the uh, cards right here. You can add a front image and a back image. And then if somebody were to click on different sections in your email, you can show like a before and after or something like that within your email. You can add forms and getting data from the customer. This is how easy it is to create forms. You're just going to create a new form and then it takes you to the form editor right here where you can then ask questions, put whatever, whatever steps you want right here and everything will be passed into Klaviyo. It's that simple. Adjust it in here, preview and export it, set your preview text that you want the email to be, export it and it shows up right within your Klaviyo. That's exactly how to set up Zamo to increase your email conversions without having to redesign a whole email funnel. Make sure to go to Zamo.com, give them a go and see what sort of results it can do for your brand. You need to make sure that your email designs are executed well. If you want to learn what high converting email design is like to drive sales and combining that with your Zamo interactive blocks, check out this video where I break it all down for you how to create emails that convert. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.